if you're looking to lose weight or you just want to eat healthier you want to keep fit and you can't let go of swallow this is definitely one food you need to add to your list i hope you already know that nigerian swallows aren't the culprit when it comes to weight gain rather the type of swallow we choose quantity and time of consumption are what needs to be checked hello everyone how are you doing my name is remy and you're welcome to my channel this very healthy swallow which a lot of people don't know or may have forgotten about is made from millet yes the popular millet you can call it millet semo if you like in the northern part of nigeria it is called tuon dawa because dawa is uh, millet in hausa millet does the body a lot of good Millets can help you lose weight because they are low in calories and are gluten free. They have complex carbohydrates and can help you reach your weight loss goal easily. Millets also help to lower cholesterol levels and keep weight in check. The high fiber content helps with digestion and prevents bloating and constipation. Right now I'm picking out the dirt from the millet. Uh, I usually have some tiny stone, very tiny. so. You have to be careful and select them and remove the shaft as much as you can as well. And before I take it to the meal, I am going to add some cassava, dried cassava, which is popularly called lafu. The ratio of dried cassava to millet is on the screen. If you like, you can do only millet, clean your millet and take it to the meal. Let them blend it smoothly. You do not have to add cassava, dried cassava. I like to add it because it gives it uh, extra stretch and makes it really nice and smooth which is why I added it to mine and cassava flour is also gluten free and has fiber too so there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. The lafun just makes it stretchy and you know it makes it feel like you're eating amala. If you don't want it you can just skip it, your millet will still be fine. After grinding this is what it looks like. The powder is smooth and I will not bother sieving it so that I get enough fiber from it. There is absolutely no need to sieve. Making this into swallow is really simple. It is the exact same way you make your semo. Make some paste with some cold water in a bowl depending on the quantity you want. Mix that until it is smooth. In Nigeria, millet are in abundance and the common variety are the white and red. It is the same one we use to make pap. They are really cheap, way cheaper than some other swallow types that we have. I have some water boiling here already and in that I'm going to pour in the uh, paste which I made earlier. And then as soon as I pour that in, I'm going to stir and stir and let it cook for a few minutes. After three to five minutes, I'm going to add some more millet flour. If you feel that this is uh, way too much work for you, I mean processing it from scratch, there are people online these days who help with uh, things like this. So if you don't have the time, you can still enjoy a healthy swallow. Okay, so gently and patiently, I will work the flour into the paste. I will add the flour in bits so that I do not end up with too much. If I feel like it needs more, I add more. Basically the same way you make semo, no difference at all. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Every time I see your likes, comments and subscriptions, I do a little dance. <laughs> it tells me that I'm trying and I'm encouraged to do more. So thank you for your likes and comments and your subscriptions to this channel. I felt the dough needed a bit more flour, so I added more. Now that the flour is well incorporated, I'm going to add a little bit of water in this tool and allow it to cook for another five minutes. A little water, not too much, so the swallow doesn't thin out. Some five minutes later and our swallow is done. All I need to do now is to work in all the water and gently just mix everything if you take a good look at this you will see how it is so smooth and slightly stretchy just like amala as a child living in the north this is what we grew up eating 
it was either these or the one made with corn sometimes we use the white variety of dawat or we also make this that's the millet and then we move to the west and it's either amala or eba i almost forgot about this but my mom she always makes this at home and whenever i go home she would offer me some so this time around i decided to make some for myself this is not the first time i have been making this for some time now and we've been enjoying it at home so i hope you like this recipe and i hope you try it out it will do you a lot of good thank you for watching have a great day bye